solution Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Aragondel and today we're gonna be talking about the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare DLC 2 which is called Ascendance. So, these are the maps over here. We've got Psy244, Chop Shop, Perplex, and Climate. And last but not least, we have Exo Zombies Part 2 with a whole new breed of zombies. And now, let's get into detail on each map of this DLC. Jumping into the first map which is Perplex with the description saying Get vertical in Sydney as you fight to dominate this 5 story modular apartment complex Take the high ground or blast through the close quarters interior in this small to medium sized map Adopt your strategy mid match when construction drones shift apartment modules creating new routes and cover positions Okay this map looks really cool the fact that it's in a modern apartment is already amazing also the combat inside the apartment will be really intense and this map also will change like we have seen in the previous DLC over here we have got the second multiplayer map which is site 244 and this map already looks dope its description says an alien spacecraft has crash landed, spilling its mysterious cargo under the shadow of Mount Rushmore, USA. This medium to large three lane map allows for any style of gameplay, focusing combat through the spaceships, fuselage, and around the debris littered landscape. Use the map based core streak to crack open an alien spore and instantly enhance your perks and exoskeleton abilities. In my opinion, this is another great map. It's a medium to large map, which I think it's the map for ARs and snipers. Maybe an SMG will be good, I don't know, we'll see in the future. Next in line, we've got Climate. Its description says, fight your way through a futuristic man-made utopia in this lush, climate-controlled biodome. In this small to medium sized circular map, land and water routes channel frantic combat around the central island structure. Watch your step when the river water changes from an asset into a deadly bubbling obstacle. This map is also gonna have a change with the bubbling obstacle or whatever it is um, which makes the map more alive. And the last multiplayer map we have is Chop Shop with the description saying Think fast as you make your way through the black market exoskeleton industrial complex and engage in fast paced shootouts in this medium sized symmetrical map. Activate the map based score streak to take control of an advanced propulsion turret that radiates a deadly microwave EMP to help lock down key areas. As the description said, this map looks like it's gonna have a lot of movement and intense combat. Um, you have to think fast to move around the map and whatever. Um, it also looks like the Exo Zombies map of the first DLC. And finally, over here, the Exo Zombies for the second DLC, which the description says After being overrun at the Atlas Research Facility outbreak, our heroes awaken to find that the infection has spread and mutated the surrounding town. Before they can get any answers, they'll have to fight their way out. Exo Zombies Part 2 Infection introduces an expanded co-op map including a Burger Town franchise and all new enemies like the Giant Goliath, Exo Zombies, Acid Drippers and more. Why the mutations have evolved, so has the technology. All new traps and the Magnetron microwave gun will give our heroes a fighting chance but just surviving doesn't cut it anymore. In the new civilian extraction mode, fellow survivors will need to help escaping the growing horde. Now, as you, uh, as you guys heard, there is going to be a new gun um, in this Zombies DLC 2. And that's it for this DLC. Don't forget the Ohm gun as well, which is an LMG and also can transform into a shotgun. It also comes with another variant called the Ohm Werewolf. And thank you guys for watching, hope you have a great day, and see you guys on another video. Peace.